Here we're just going to have a, a look at an introduction to isomerism. You've got a definition of there what an isomer is. It's a chemical that's the same molecular form as another, but somehow the arrangement of the atoms are different. Now, isomerism can be split into two different types. First of these is something called structural isomerism. Structural isomers. And this occurs when compounds have the same molecular formula. That would be one mark in an exam. And the second mark is for saying, but different structural formulas. So different structural formulas means that the bonding between the atoms are different. So two mark definition. One mark for when compounds have the same molecular formula, second mark, but different structural formulas. And structural isomers can be split into three different types. First of those is chain isomers. Second of those is position. And the third is functional group and we'll delve into more detail about each of these types of isomerism in a video titled structural isomerism the other type of isomerism that we need to be aware of is stereoisomerism or stereoisomers Stereoisomers occur, and again, this is a two mark definition that you need to be aware of. So it's when compounds have the same structural formula, which would be one mark, so the bonding between the atoms is identical in stereoisomers, which is what we said there for this first mark, when compounds have the same structural formula. But they have a different spatial arrangement of some atoms. And that'll be our second mark. So you probably get one mark for when compounds have the same structural formula, second mark, but have different spatial arrangements of some atoms. Stereoisomers can come in two different forms, and they can come in the form of an EZ isomer. An EZ isomerism is specific to alkenes. And stereoisomers can also come in the form of optical isomers. So that gives you a, a gentle introduction to the different type of isomers we can have, structural and stereo. And we need to be able to define both and be aware that structural can be further split into chain, position and functional group. And stereoisomers can be further split into EZ and optical and we'll look at structural isomers in more detail and stereoisomers in more detail in later videos.